Hello, hello guys and welcome back to a new tutorial video on this channel. I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So today I bring a new update for AIMatic and besides of many fixes and improvements, a new major feature was added today to it, the AI forms functionality. So this will allow you to create forms, custom built AI forms on your WordPress site and add them to pages, posts or anywhere on your site based on little short codes that the plugin will provide. So these short codes will be able to be built right inside of the AI forms builder. So let me show you this feature right in action because I think that with the explanation will uh, have lesser effect than if I show you directly this new feature in action. So first of all, go to the AI shortcodes and forms. You will see a short tutorial here and also you will see the built-in shortcodes which are older feature of the plugin you can skip this and here you can add a new form but for now let's not add a new form but import the default forms which are included bundled in the plugin so by default if you go to list ai forms the list will be empty but you can click the import default forms from the ai forms importer tab and if you click this then the default forms will be imported and you will see a huge list of forms which will be imported to the plugin. So for example, let's go and uh, write an example form, check the mood to color form. So for this, we can click preview right here in WordPress. Note that you will need to use the text editor of WordPress, so don't switch to visual, only use the text editor right here in the preview form because this is a current limitation, but this will apply only here in the preview part of WordPress. If you use this shortcode, this form directly on your WordPress front end, the functionality of the visual editor will also work. So for example, let's check the um, functionality of this form and enter mood angry and let's hit submit and now we will get a response from the AI and we will see that the color is this for the mood angry but now let me better uh, exemplify for example let's go to career development this will show you a better example and here we have a career development form which has the title career development the description provides advice for advancing your career profession marketer how many years of experience you have so for example between three and five years your industry is uh, wordpress for example and seeking advice for career advancement career change and if we hit submit and we will see that the ai will be able to give us a specific response based on our input fields from here so after a while of processing we will get a response here down below so here it is a detailed response on how to help the marketer profession who has between three and five years experience works in the wordpress industry and seeks advice for career change okay so this is the functionality of forms and now let me show you how to use them edit them and also how to get used to them so if for example if you want to uh, change the um, career one so where was the career here is career development i search for it and if we want to edit it simply click edit and you will see that here is the edit part of the form so on top here you will see the input fields listed you can add a new input field with this button or you can edit the existing input fields using this edit field so note that you will have here four input fields as the prompt had uh, as the form had an input field for your profession experience your industry seeking advice for okay i will be getting back soon to these input fields but now let's go down to type because you will be able to select the form type to be textual 
image from DALI to from OpenAI or stable diffusion image. If you select an image, you will be able to allow users to enter a f um, input and you will be able to call the image generator, the AI image generator and provide them with an image. This is the title of the form which can be displayed on top of the form together with the description but this can be disabled so you can give it a title without it being shown to the users if you configure the form like this. Also the prompt this is very important so this is the part which is sent to the AI. So this is the prompt I have been working as a person profession and the person profession ID is here as you can see is the first input field with the ID person profession and if the person profession input field is set we will be able to use in the prompt section here the person profession shortcode which will be replaced with the value of what the user enters in on the front end. For person experience years so the person experience will be a select box a drop down which will be able to be replaced with these values and this will be selected by users you can enter more values here just enter one on a new line you can enter here 100 years for example to be a bit funny and if the user selects 100 years so you can select multiple you can set multiple values one on each line if you set drop down here in the options field and this will be replaced by what the user selected industry it will be replaced by what the user adds in this textual field and I am seeking advice for seeking advice for field will be replaced with this drop down for career advancement, change, job search, interview preparation, and networking. Okay, so based on what the user enters, we will have this this prompt which will be sent to the AI, and we can set also advanced features we can select ai model token count temperature top p these are advanced features of the ai writer you can disregard this part if you don't want to edit them the plugin will work very well also if you don't edit this part and you can set that show or hide the header the header contains the title and the description of the form so these are the title and the description so if you set there to hide this will not be shown the title and description and also you can set the submit button text which is submit by default so for example let me show you i will add another field which will be added to the end here and it is empty right now and let me write um salary target so we can ask also the user which is the user's salary desired salary so we can add the id to this field salary we can require it or no but in this case i require it and we can make it text select number email url text area checkbox or radio box so for example let's allow this to be a select if you want to make it select then less than five hundred dollars and on a new line five hundred one thousand dollars and so on you get the idea and if we wish we can make it text or number so we can allow the user to enter a number we can set a minimum value and the maximum value which are optional we can set it to email url text area when we can set the rows of the text area checkbox when we can set the checkbox in this case the plugin will create multiple checkboxes for the values that we enter here but keep in mind that 
people will be able to select multiple checkboxes in this case and also a radio button can be set for these values but in this case let's leave the simply select and let's copy this id and we can add it our in our prompt and we can write my salary target is percent 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 so i added the id of this new field that i created between two percent marks on each side to create the short code for the id so this will be the short code of this id okay so in this case my solid target is can you provide me with some advice on how to do this okay so we edited this form we can simply save it and uh, if we find the form again and we preview it we can see that we have the salary target so let's use this once again career advancement and in this case we can select salary target five hundred one thousand dollars and if we submit this form we will see that we will get a response also with the salary target added so we sent the to the ai the prompt that we modified and we have now also a salary target okay now let's go ahead and uh, check also the ai forms importer exporter feature you can export all your forms using this button it will download a json file which will be able to be edited on your part and re-uploaded using this part the import forms from file functionality you can also check to overwrite existing forms keep note that forms will be checked by their title so if you import the same title post uh form sorry and you check this override button the old form which had the same title with the imported one will be overwritten okay and now the last functionality we will show the add new ai form which will allow you to add forms also manually so this is similar to the part which we created before so let's create an image form this time so for this let me uh, create a new input field and um, for this let's write season and uh, the id of the input field is season required yes and also we can set this to select to um, input the seasons for example winter autumn spring summer we have the four seasons entered now we can go ahead and set this to dali 2 image generator title create an image for a season this form creates an image for the season you select prompt create an image which represents very well the following season and now we can copy the id of the season that the user selects percent percent input the id that we copied and another two percent and we can add also a sample response if we wish but i leave this blank and let's save the form and now if we go to list forms we will see create an image for a season so now let's show let me show you how to use this form and we can preview it for now and uh, we can select an image uh, a season for example 
spring or even better summer because the summer season will come and then loader will be displayed until the AI processes our request and here it is yeah it's AI generated and it is representing the summer as we can see and it's a classical painting style but we get the idea so you can use this also on the front end by copying this little short code and going to posts add new and we can create our post by simply pasting the short code here or we can do it on pages on anywhere on wordpress where short codes are accepted and the same will be displayed as as we preview the form here so if we preview the form this same form will be displayed also on the front end if we use this little short code from here well okay so this is the new ai shortcodes and forms functionality basically the ai forms functionality you will be able to add your own forms using this tab you will be able to import default forms or to download or import your forms form file and you will be able to list forms and manage them from here so for example we will be able to play with this feature and uh, if you want to delete all forms that you created check be uh, be sure to click this check this uh submit button but if you don't want to do this don't click this as it will delete all forms that you created so for example if we want to delete our forms simply delete everything that we have so far but don't be sad as you will be able to import the default forms once again very easily as you see here okay so this is all for this tutorial video i hope this ai forms functionality will come handy to you guys and as always if you have ideas suggestions let me know in the comments of this video thank you for watching until the end have a nice day like share subscribe it's really appreciated it helps me helps me going forward this is all for today. Bye-bye.